What is going on everybody? This is the Fresh Baked Goods and thank you for clicking on another Hell Loose video. We got something a little different for you today. I thought it'd be fun to kind of rank the tanks in Hell Let Loose. And this turned out to be a really good conversation. I had my dudes Marco and Jack just break down every single tank in this game, the pros, the cons, the fun factor, cool factor, how useful it is. And honestly, there were some surprises where these tanks end up on the list. So if you've ever wanted to watch three dudes talk about hell at loose tanks for a while, this is your video. So let's get to it. Thank you for watching. Thank you for everything you do. I'll see you dudes on the front line. So we got the recon vehicles, the light tanks, the mediums, and the heavies. We're going to start with the lightest, go from the heaviest, drink them from S to F. What does S even stand for in this system? Like super, super special? Supreme. Supreme. Supreme, really? Is that what it stands for? That, well, that's the only thing I can think of. I don't know what else. <laughs> I always hear people say like S tier. Yeah, I know. I never knew And I've never means. really thought what the S meant. <laughs> At this point, I'm too afraid to ask. <laughs> um, so we'll do that. So right off the bat, we have the Russian clown car, the BA-10. Where are we putting this thing? Absolutely oh, F. <laughs> Just straight down to the bottom. I... F for I, fucking garbage. So, I can't think of. Yeah, I don't there, think I've spent more than like five minutes in, <laughs> inside of one. Is there any? Uh, I just know it has high reload rate. Yeah. I don't know. Re reload rate? <laughs> uh, mo weird. Mobility? That's the only thing I can think of. I know. Because it's like, it's not even cool. Like, there's no cool factor to it. So it's like, there's no, nothing. It's not, like the, it's, it. it's not like the Stewart or the Puma. Like, it doesn't. No. You know, people don't get excited to enter a. What is it, <laughs> BA-10 or whatever it is? And the the windows on it are just the weirdest fucking things ever. Yeah. It's like throwback vintage like World War One style. It does look World War One. It really does look like a World is War that helping it, Is that helping out. its case? No. It's not going to get it out of F tier, <laughs> that's for sure. <laughs> so right off it's the bat, BA-10 going to F? Yeah. All right, staying yeah. in S. Yeah. Staying there. All whatever. right, so after this, we have the Puma. I mean, um, is this the coolest oh, of the man. recon vehicles? <laughs> I would put this. I personally would put this as like a B because it has the oh, the. Ooh. I mean, here's the thing with the with the Puma that, like, it has a 75 millimeter gun, I believe. So, but that's not really in game. But um, it's it has mobility. Uh, uh, maybe. Now I'm like regretting. So I, 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 no, no, I will say it does seem to um, ricochet a lot of shots. Yeah, it has good I don't mobility. Under, I don't understand why, but it seems to bounce a lot of shots off of it. I think it, I don't think it's F. Like, I think that's harsh. No, 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 no. Uh, I think it's like maybe a C, actually. I, th like, I think I think I'd agree with the, with the C here. It's got utility and it's yeah. a hard you know. fuel. Mm -hmm. <laughs> you can do yeah. stuff with it. Yeah. All three it's like the C. clown car in the Russian maps, you're just doomed. I, I feel like a B is too high for it, and a C yeah, is too low too for it. I feel like I C. think a C, a C indicates it's, it, you know, it has its place, but you it's do it. not. People don't seek it out. Yeah, you're not going to get above C tier being one shot by like. <laughs> I, I think yeah, in this game, I think how it could be used is like, you know, people spawn in. And then they like zoom to the point or they yeah. zoom to where they're going. Like, I, I think it has like, I think the Puma is the best vehicle to use the purpose of it, which is recon, which is quick mobility. That is the Puma. Absolutely. So I guess that brings us to the next question. We have the Greyhound up next. Is the Puma think, better than the Greyhound? No, I don't think so. I think they're about. No, I think I mean, they're pretty even. Okay. They're so fragile. It's like any yeah. difference between I, them. Yeah, really I agree. Because I think the Puma bounces more shots, but the Greyhound has that lower profile and doesn't seem to get yeah. as, as stuck on shit as the Puma does. Yeah, so I feel you like can see. Like I've been driving or I've been gunning, and we've I've missed a, a Greyhound because it blends in more. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Yeah, I agree on the Ooh. like the like the green the low poly count. <laughs> yeah, yeah, <laughs> yeah. I agree. I'm fine with that. Both of them at C. Yeah. Definitely. Cool. So that, that wraps up the, the recon portion of this ranking system. So we have the Stuart next. The, uh, the first of the light light tanks here. This guy, uh, I'm going to say, is going to end up pretty high, to be honest with you. Yeah. Especially after watching, uh, <laughs> at the time we were recording this, like two days ago, Raz Bora, the Twitch streamer that we're all good friends with, uh, he killed like 
four, five Panthers yeah. and no, a no, Stewart. No, we've all done that. It's it's really oh, yeah, 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 but it's I, I think I've been thinking about that. I know because of uh, that's it's, the first thing that comes to mind. Yeah, the Stewart is like the only light tank. I feel like that's always a viable option, no matter what. Uh, yeah, the only thing that is stopping me is the insane spins it does like it is <laughs> yeah, so yeah, it spins poorly. its mobility it clips on everything i don't like you get hit yeah. by anything with impact and you're doing like your time traveling out in the field yeah. i feel like that's any light vehicle in this game though yeah so I, don't, I don't know reload, if we can hold reload, it i don't know if mobility. we can hold it directly against the steward we have to hold that against everything i think it might be different on the luke's I've been we'll get there <laughs> we'll get there <laughs> hold your luke's tongue yeah um, but the the steward is it's had its purpose. I it, think so. It's it's just a better recon. Basically. So it's obviously better than the Puma and the Greyhound. The question yeah. is, is it A tier? Is no, it A worthy? No, no. no chance. We're keeping it a B. If it, if it had better mobility and it didn't spin, it didn't time then travel. Maybe an A. <laughs> yeah, but the it's like the B B is a fair no, more man, than fair. I, I'm saying it's a high B. If I, if, I had, if I had the option for a B plus, it would get it. But I cannot figure that out or it doesn't let me, so it's staying at B. So, yeah. it's settled. It is a B. Next up, we have probably the most controversial take on this list. Yay! <laughs> the Lukes. <laughs> I love it. <laughs> Lukes is my boy. The Lukes is the arguably the best worst tank in the game. The Kali um, Massacred, my boy. It's, yeah, it's you just, know what the Lukes is? It's a mating call. Yeah, it really is. It's the like, dinner bell of Hell Loose Tank. It's the, yeah, right. It's the dinner bell. That's the better like, term for if it. You it's want dinner points bell. Like you hear it and you're like, all right, yeah. oh, <laughs> there's a there's a there's a Luke's out there. Let's you, forget it. If you want points while you're on a Russian or American tank and you hear the Luke shoot, you instantly know where to go. It's crazy. Like I'll I'll sleep on on like a 76 firing from somewhere, mm -hmm. but you hear like a Luke's firing or a, a pan. Uh, yeah, you hear that and it's like your ears automatically perk up. Yeah, yeah, maybe because it's the repetitive noise, but it's just so well, like there's no other you sound hear it like that to right me. exactly yeah. that's why he's awesome and they fuck him <laughs> up so bad that you can't do anything with it yeah, anymore. it's mobility kind of lacks it always clips on stuff like yeah. the smaller vehicles do man but... i just i can't let it go like back in the, in the splash play, radius used to i used to be able to when there was no seat change timer before i was playing with everybody mm -hmm. i could jump a ditch like or uh, the berm in a road on foy switch seats and fire 20 millimeter while I was like flying 30 miles an hour through the air and it's just oh damn awesome so I, uh, yeah it has the thing cool that factor. sucks about it that I will like absolutely <laughs> admit and probably the only thing I'll admit that sucks about it is that it doesn't have a hull MG that really yeah that really, really hurts it too the whole the fact that there's no hull MG and the splash damage on the main cannon just absolutely yeah. sucks butts yeah. That I said, I feel like it's a very unique tank. It's um, <laughs> it's a fucking uh, stunt move to dunk on enemy yeah. garrisons and spawn points yeah. in the Lukes, I feel like. Oh, yeah. When you're, like, obviously strutting and styling and profiling and whatever, that's what you're going to do. Yeah, you can keep a Lukes alive. It's a fun time. I mean, it's like... That, and I still think there's a... Uh there's a valid strat in doing Luke's columns, like three or four <laughs> of them. <laughs> until you run into a cemetery. Yeah, well, yeah until you that, drive into a cemetery. It's a bad play. <laughs> until, <laughs> until you get hell <laughs> loosed. Um, so yeah, the Luke's. Uh, <laughs> you know, I don't know. Man. Dude. I, I want to call I, it S tier. But it's not even close to the top. It's no, not even close. No. This this thing is going I down. I would argue. It's going down. I would say D. <laughs> Dude. Oh, I was going to put C, but gonna put it in the fine C. with me. It's, well, not, okay. it's, it's just not as good as... I will say, I don't know. I, okay, you know what? If I was a teacher, I'd be a terrible teacher. I know. I, I'll agree with you, Marco. I'll, I'll fight for the C because I'm realizing now the Lukes will absolutely fuck up a Greyhound or a Clown car. Oh yeah. So and I, and it, when I it's firing at you, that. it shakes. It it like it's it has such high uh, suppression when yeah. uh, you're getting shot by it, even if it's just yes. tracking you. It can really make it. Yeah, no, it's yeah, impossible you, to target anything when he's firing. Yeah, that's very good. That's very true. <laughs> you you got to sit there and wait till he's out of ammo. <laughs> yeah, it's that, crazy. And if it's working with another tank, you're probably fucked. Right. So yeah, you know yeah, what? Yeah. Fuck it. Let's get the Luke's in the C column. It passes. Let's do it. Yeah. I, well, yeah. I, I, I can't, guess. I can't put it on the same tier as the Stewart. I can't. I can't. It's like no, it's shit. 
Yeah. If you if put, they would if, just if, fix the yeah. freaking HE on it, like how it used to be. Yeah. Way back when it actually it, worked and you could splash it, stuff with it. Yeah, it it uh, it would be such a lethal tank if it had better like splash radius for the the hit. Like that's twenty mil. That thing should be ripping people, but yeah, it yeah. is kind of deafened. It's so weird. I don't know what's up with that. It sh it needs to be gnarlier. Otherwise, it's just kind of pointless. It was like I'm telling you, way back, and then they did that whole HE change in like UE six or seven or something like that. And they fucked up all the HE splash yeah. radiuses, and they just never fixed it with that thing. Yeah, I agree. It's a shame. It's a damn shame. Well, it passes at the end of the day. Um, <laughs> yep. Up next, we have the Russian light vehicle, the newest tank in the game, the T-70. Um, so I, basically, this yeah, is what this is like. <laughs> it's got it's part Luke's, it's part Stewart. Like it's got it's got weird, you know. It doesn't have a whole MG, but it has a turret like the Stewart. Um, but I mean, does it Pretty drive mobile. like Luke's? It, yeah, I mean, I don't, I don't really know where I've, to put this one. I've never even, I've never been in it. <laughs> <laughs> I've never been in it. In like, a T seven. Uh, it works well in Stalingrad. It really does. You it's can, like a T thirty four with a small man complex. Is really what it is. <laughs> I'll let you guys own this because I've never even been mm. in one. I would say it's easily as good as the Stewart any day. I don't want to put it on the same as the Stewart because it doesn't have the whole MG. I can't. I can't put it on the same. I could put it on a C. Yeah. I, th I think that's fair. Um. That's yeah. I forgot it doesn't have it. I thought it did. But. No. And the thing too is like it's totally like if you put that thing in, like say, uh, Marie Dumont or Iglesias or something like that, it would be a totally different tank. I know it's it's got to deal with uh, fucking curse, which just, which just, yeah. it's not going to work on that. And then Kharkov no. doesn't really work on that either. It just has Stalingrad. That's the only map. It's like even remotely even viable. Even Stalingrad, like yeah, seventy five percent of the time you're going to eat shit in it before you even get to the midpoint. Yeah, true. You got to be super sneaky about it. <laughs> uh, I think C's fair. Um, I think it's up there. There's not too much cool about it, unfortunately. It just kind of looks like a mini T-34, so it doesn't... I think that that's the only reason why it's on the same level as the Lukes, is the Lukes has so much cool factor to it. Yeah. Are we cool with the C, then, for the T-70? Yep. yep. All right. On to the medium tanks. We have, right out of the gate, the Panzer IV. So... <laughs> I don't, I, this is like, I don't know where to put these things. I mean, this is like where I'm going to get pretty harsh on things like this that just don't <laughs> drive well. Like, I mean, I guess, I don't know if, if it's, if we can count it towards the tank, the fact that I can't take rockets to the front and sides of it. I mean, I guess that's more of just the hell at loose thing. I don't think it, I don't think it should give it points to the tank for that. But no. I feel like this thing drives like butts. It's yeah. really, it's, it clips on everything. It's really like the medium tanks. Uh, this is something I'll, oh, I'll, dude, I it's... was I was gonna bring up like later when we talk about the heavies, but like the light tanks or the medium tanks just get clipped on everything. That's not just the Panzer IV. The Panzer IV seems to it's especially would, bad with the Panzer IV. Yeah, yeah it's, I'd it's, I'd it's worse than the medium. Say it's yep, definitely it's worse than the medium. Yeah, shape. it uh, yeah, it's a good solid beginner tank. Like I, I you know, Your baseline. <laughs> we, we've played full games, you know, taking it from from start. Um, and it yeah. does the job. Yeah. Um, but it the minute, there's no ricochet opportunity yeah, and very true. you clip. And yeah, that's really what else can you say? Yeah, it gets stuck on fucking every little um every little lump in the ground. Like you try to drive this thing through the railroad tracks in Carantan and it's like Yeah. Oh my it's, god. It's, yeah, I can happens. like hear I can be. hear that noise <laughs> yeah. in my head right now. And then like the sound of the the whiny engine just yeah. <laughs> Yeah. You can't be above a C tier if you're getting stuck on a railroad track. No, the question is, do we pile this on the C tier or does it get dropped down to a D? Because it's like not, it's not very I think cool. it's I think, C. I think it's C. I mean, C? Oh, you, C. You think C, Jack? Think C. You think B? Yeah, because he can kill everything I don't. I, I don't. I would honestly take a Stewart. Yeah, I would request a Stewart instead of a Panzer IV any day. Just because really? of the mobility? Yeah, like if you had to request a tank, like there's no like you're in a situation. Yeah, a like good crew, a good crew can do as much with a with a Stewart than the, as they can. Uh, uh, for less fuel uh, too. I just can't get over the time it. to kill. I mean, that's what. Yeah, that's the only negative. Yeah, I mean the Stewart reloads super fast. It's only three shots to the ass of a heavy. You so. know, if you have a an unskilled or beginner driver or crew, 
They're not going to oh, yeah. turn quick enough. We've seen it. Mm-hmm. Yeah, you're going to have a bad time. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> like trying to turn on fourth and stuff like that. We can always... Especially when you're... We can, when you're, when we you can move stuff point. around as we keep going. If we want to raise or yeah. lower any of this, um, where we feel like it's not looking right, you know, as we keep piling stuff in here, if we want to say, oh, yeah, maybe that is lower than that, we can totally change stuff. Um, so we keeping the Panzer four to C, or do we want to move it up? Or yeah. Down? I, you I know, I would move it up to a B if we move the steward up to a D. I'll say that. <laughs> I don't think Stuart's A. Okay. The thing about the Panzer IV is, is I just don't know what makes it that good. I mean, redeeming. Yeah. It's like it's just a light. It's just a medium what, tank. Yeah. It's uh, there's no. Yeah. You know, we don't have like penetration factors. None of that's in play here. So it's just a light tank that can't ricochet and get stuck on everything. I agree. But it can, you know, take out a, a heavy from you know the side of the back, like two shots. Can, that's like the only thing in it. It's it's nothing, you know, it's like Applebee's. Yeah, there you, you go. Know, that's it's it. not incredible, it's but it's like it's there it and it'll dude. work. <laughs> and yeah. Um, it looks nice. <laughs> okay, so we can, yeah. we can leave it at a C for now. And then if we want to move it, we can move it. So next up, we have the medium Sherman, the the newly redesigned oh, one here with uh, with smoke rounds. Yeah, that smoke rounds, that's that's awesome. So, that's such a good move. Yeah. So I, you know, it doesn't have as much AP as the Panzer IV, but I mean that doesn't fucking matter. And in no, a medium you're, tank, you're gonna die anyways <laughs> when you come across yeah, a heavy yeah. most of the time. So. <laughs> I mean, this has uh, better mobility than the PZ4, right? Like, uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. And you have it has ricochet ability. opportunity. Yeah, you can it angle does. it slightly and, and, and bounce some shots if you need to. And, and then the I turret, mean, the turret is way, um, way nicer to, to use than the PZ4 because it's not that smaller hitbox. Yeah. So yeah, I like the the medium. I, I feel better going out in a medium than I do Panzer four usually. Absolutely. You know, but so here's the question: Do we hold this against? the the medium sherman and the t-34 do we hold against these non-german tanks that they can take panzer shreks to the front and the side does that come into the conversation oh man that's a good point yeah because you can get just lit the fuck up like right in the beak with it Mm -hmm. yeah whereas the pz4 you know you're not taking you're not worried about at when they're in front of the side you just look at them and laugh plot twist Uh... this is what i was talking about I feel like that's a way bigger it is factor. Fair, I feel like it's yeah, a way mostly, bigger factor that we're making it out to be. Because I think about all the times we play as uh, as a PZ4, and like, oh, it's AT, just fucking turn front towards them. Whereas the medium Sherman, it's like, run. <laughs> yeah. That is that's true. Point. I'll, I'll say, though, like, the amount of times we get hit in the side or the back in a medium is way higher mm-hmm. than in the front, just because I don't think people still realize you can just flip them right in the front. Yeah. So, uh, that's, so maybe, I mean, not to jump ahead, but I mean, because of that insane vulnerability on the medium Sherman, that could be a C tier, and then the T thirty four would be a B because of this crazy armor. But I mean, the main thing we'll get to it. Yeah, yeah. The, I have a lot to talk about the Soviet tanks, but mm-hmm. I, I'm yeah that the the the. the does this stay out of C? Like, obviously, I mean, do we put this as a C I mean, because it has different pros and cons in the PZ4? I mean, but if you think about, I didn't even honestly think about the Panzer Shrek Bazookas. If the situation, yeah, the. I'm trying to think if the Panzer IV deserves more because it has. I, I, I've, like, I've started to think we move it up to I must say, I think it, <laughs> like it has a B. I say that. I. When I talked about, it, I'd rather take a medium than a, a medium Sherman than a than a Panzer IV. That was mostly talking about mobility. But mm-hmm. when you think about the factors of of how often we deal with AT, mm-hmm. you're going to ricochet more with the Panzer IV. Um, so I think we move this up. Yeah, because they both have the mobility is a little bit better. I, I, the clipping's still there with the with the medium Sherman. Yeah, you have smoke rounds, but I never. I know, use them. I know. It's always and fun. then, like you know, you have a smaller hitbox, but you're more vulnerable to AT. I feel like that Shrek weakness is like massive. I feel like that's massive. Yeah. But again, like how often do you see it? I don't. There's only. I mean, a lot. handful of people, people come after us. Do you? Yeah. Yeah, but they're always trying to hit you in the side or the back. No, I get shot in the front all the time. But yeah, that side oh, yeah. is still big though. Like, I mean. 
We'll, we'll talk about this with all the U.S. tanks. Um, but I mean, yeah, that's that's massive. You know, they all have the the hull for all three of the tanks is you know some different M4 shape. They all have the flat sides. So I guess the main yeah. bottom question, is, the bottom line question is, does the PZ4's um, ability to soak up rockets to the front and side make up for its shitty mobility? Yeah. I, yeah. I feel like it does. Yeah. Because yeah. okay. when you think of are like charging a point or whatever, if you're going straight at them, that, that counts for a lot. Yeah. Think about how many times we just kind of like reverse out of shit in, that, in those. Right. Terms. Especially <laughs> when you're trying to, like, when you're just, trying to like, soften. Just watch the rockets fly at you. <laughs> Back her up, yeah, Terry. Yeah. You're trying to think about it. You take that out and the first point is the midpoint. And you're trying to soften them out. Yeah. You know, okay. it's probably better for that. I, I like the way that, that looks. I mean, yeah. on, on this, if, if, uh, if we're cool with that. Yeah. Cool. Medium Sherman C, Panzer Force moves up to B. Mm -hmm. All right. Moving on. Yeah, that's surprising. But yeah. I love this shit. All right. Um, the last medium tank we're going to talk about is the T-34 for the Russians. So I think this is going to be pretty high. <laughs> I, yeah. I think it, so the I, thing, I'm thinking we go yeah. high with this one. With the thing with Russian armor that the T-34 and the IS-1 are what makes them so good is their ricochet ability mm -hmm. they ricochet so much especially from the turret it's it's in like i've been you know in a panther uh you know going against an is1 that's scarier than a 76 because you're mm -hmm. the you have to hit them yeah. so pristine or else you're going to ricochet like you know you hit them in the viewport if you're facing it um, but if you hit them on the edges or sometimes yeah. in the side, like I will ricochet shots off an IS-1 all day long. Um, and the T-34 is not, you know, much different. It still has, you know, I don't think it, it doesn't ricochet as well as the IS-1, but it's still, no. you know, it has that, uh, ricochet factor. It has decent mobility. Yeah, I agree. Um, oh, so that's know. what they don't talk about a lot in the T thirty four. That thing fucking slaps. Yeah, dude, you can. It's really mobile. Yeah, dude. I feel like I feel a like medium it, tank. I agree. I agree. I feel like when you're going up against the, uh, you know, it's the PZ four versus the T thirty four battle. It's like yeah. I'm scared shitless. I'm in the PZ four. Yeah. Um, yeah. Turns good. It doesn't hang up on anything. Yeah. You get a little overconfident because you know there's like a higher probability that something's gonna bounce off you. Yeah, and those, mean, it, it moves good. Those Russian. I have to remember. Too, or like yeah. Marco was saying, it's just it's yeah. insane how they can just bounce yeah. shots. So if you get in a hold down spot with this tank, um, it's yeah, it's, it's pretty it's good. Super <laughs> difficult. Yeah. Um, the other thing I was thinking of was. Um, with the T-34, I'm trying to remember. We can move on. I'll come back to it. But yeah, the 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 Russian armor is just good in that sense. Um, yeah, we'll talk mobility. we'll talk more about with the with the IS-1. But the yeah the T-34 in particular though, like, dude, I'm thinking this goes up to A. The only reason yeah. it doesn't get an S is because it can be Panzer Shrek from the front. But yeah, I mean, it's got and it's, it's shot. Yeah, yeah. I was thinking of his viewport from a driver perspective. Oh, dude, um, it's way better. Don't get it's, started yeah. on Russian. Yeah, yeah, the IS-1 we'll talk about, but the yeah. I'm trying to think of, because it's been a bit since I've been in a T-34, but the, the viewport is pretty good. Um, I don't know. I don't remember how it compares to the... Uh, to the. I think it's pretty IS. similar to a Panzer IV, but... Oh, um, it's you know. smaller. Yeah. It's a little the, smaller. Yeah, but it's definitely not, it's not IS-1 small. Yeah, no, it's not IS a shoebox. Like, yeah, <laughs> I, not, but yeah. Um, okay, so we'll leave that at A. Are you guys cool with that? You know, I think obviously it's the best medium tank yeah. in the game. It has to be up there. Yeah. It's a good tank. Yeah. All right, that's it for the mediums. Um, moving on to the most used tanks in the game, which is because of the Hell Loose meta. Everything else. The heavy <laughs> tanks. Yeah. <laughs> the tanks that you're going to see 90% of the time, for the most part. Um, so we'll start off the bat. The official tank of kind of our group of friends. Um, the tiger the tiger's like the mascot for the beer clan um you know i wish we could use it more but i'm sure we'll talk about that where does the tiger end up on this list these days uh it has the cool factor like the, let's be yeah. real the tiger is the coolest tank yeah. in the game right like yeah it's an icon right mm -hmm. like yeah. that's why i can't not fanboy all over that thing i have like goofy little models and shit of it <laughs> on my desk and I don't know. It's just a monster. I, uh, it's a solid A. I don't... Because, I mean, you're going to... 
So the, the obviously it doesn't have, we'll talk about the Panther after this, but it doesn't have the same top speed or turning and forth as the Panther. But in no, first, you can turn this thing very fast in first. It's easy. Yeah. Yep. Uh, yeah, it's yep. real doesn't have the reload though. Doesn't have the reload speed of the Panther. Uh, it has the same exact ammo count as the Panther, if I remember correctly too, which is like 41 and 41 like, for both. Yeah, so I'm in 40s. Mm -hmm. It doesn't have the angles the Panther has. Let's be no, honest. It's the, the tiger is the giant hitbox. Yeah, that's um, the only thing that sucks. But that's about that's yeah. that was you know realistic. It was a big, big yeah. oh, you know the obviously the front was massive. The yeah. you know the front, um, yeah, it's not sloped. It's just a big you know plate. Yeah, so, that was like pretty sloped armor. Yeah, yeah, it was like what a hundred millimeter thick front plate. Just crazy. I think yeah, this is a solid yeah. A tank. I'm looking at this. Yeah. I'm looking oh, at what's it's, to come. I'm looking what we got on the board. I think this is an A. Yeah, it's I it's mean, gonna it's gonna you're gonna fight off 76s. You know, you're gonna fight off AT. Yeah. You know. I'm gonna put it and up the there. The driver uh, windshield, whenever they like slip that little change in there, it's massive too. Yeah. Yeah. The driver. Yeah, it, the only thing is, it's it's wider, so you have to think about mobility mm -hmm. versus the you know. It's not as agile and quick as the the Panther. You, no. you know, it's just like get where you're going. I it's feel like it doesn't piece. get stuck on things though. Like even like compared, we'll talk about the 76 and the and the jumbo in a little bit. The jumbos in a little bit. But I feel like the Tiger does not get as stuck as other tanks. It has an easier time. It's slow, but I feel like it climbs over shit pretty well. Yeah. It. Yeah. I mean, when you talk about it, you have to talk about it in context of like fighting a 76 or lower. Yeah. It's. It's better than in, or equal to any of those it's equal to the 76 and better than anything else i have my complaints about That's the 76 that i'll talk about when we get there but um so tiger a cool with that yeah all right it's a, a tiger a, a for real and s in our hearts as, as for cool as yeah. for the coolness and in our hearts like when you see two tigers rolling together like yeah that's like a peak oh, we've help. done that you know oh, it's, rolling through it's, like a, a wheat field it's, it looks so like, cool looking. lined up on whatever that last allied point is on foy day mm -hmm. there was a couple of times where we had like three or four of them just like sitting in a oh you know, yeah that's cool and it's, it's cool. heard slanted it's so like cool. 45 degrees and everybody's just yeah it's a beast ripping shots it's a well andre okay well, i mean let's be real we're on to the panther the best tank in the game we all know it yeah, yeah. i mean it's got the fastest it's broken, reload it's, yeah. it's a giant it's a giant s tier yeah it's going up to the s but i mean it's got the fastest reload it's got the angles it's got the mobility and fourth like there's got no. the driver viewport. Yeah, it's got the driver so viewport. View. It's, it's so easy to, to... You have such a wide viewport in the driver, which makes it so easy yeah. to drive. The one thing that I will say is from a driving perspective, uh, the German tanks suffer from this a little bit more than the American. Uh, and this could also be a thing with Tigers, but I notice it a lot with Panther. You have to be very sensitive to shifting gears when you're on incline. Yeah. Uh, you know, you know, you'll clip on stuff sometimes. It's not as bad as a Panzer IV, but uh, yeah. the mobility is still great. But from a driver's perspective, you you know have to watch your your shifting and and be that's a little bit more delicate weird. with that. I really gotta wonder if that was intentional or not. I mean, that's such a <laughs> probably good not. Point. Like, <laughs> what was it like a week or two ago? We were on Carantan and I lugged it going over the bridge. Yeah, going over, going the, bridge. over yeah. the bridge. And it's when it happened to you, I I knew exactly what happened because it's happened to me yeah. you know essentially the gears don't get up quick enough and yeah. and uh or the revs well, in you yeah, yeah you hit 2500 but i don't know what the deal is like you yeah it, your it, rpm it just doesn't yeah doesn't you like almost it. need more mm -hmm. i agree yeah, but yeah it's the king of the jungle for sure it has to be us it's, dude it's like i love driving that thing it's it's so quick <laughs> and nimble it's nimble and you just float over stuff yep. and you I, know the yeah you're yeah. hauling ass like yeah you you can go like i've we've been driving it and i don't think for us you can when i've been driving i don't think you can give me directions quick enough i know to, to, yeah, you're to, you know you're flying in that thing sometimes like it's uh, so i will say the only downside to it is the fucking um the rocking it has when you stop on it oh. it stops yeah. on a dime yeah. but that's not a great thing sometimes because it's like <laughs> yeah you go nose down and up which is you know yeah. this tank is not perfect but i can't not given an S just for I mean that reload speed alone and the angles it yeah, has it's, 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 it's saved us yeah uh, a lot and yeah. and uh you know yeah, yeah there's a lot of situations where 
tanks can't pen us because of the angle the ricochet mm -hmm. factor is quite high especially from the front yeah it wins so many fights it shouldn't and it's just like yeah it has to you, be up there it is really i'd say it's a lot more interactive when you're driving like you're saying it's got weird quarters it's very nimble stuff. yeah it's but i mean it, it's you fun to be a little bit more on your game like yeah. if you're going like flat out or mm -hmm. if you're trying to decide if you're in first or fourth when you're turning that kind of stuff and, yeah, I agree. Yeah. Well, it's at like, us. I'm not scared of yeah. any ditch or anything. <laughs> and just hit it straight on and yeah. do okay. All right. It's Panther staying at us. I mean, there's no, yeah. there's no reason Shocker. to put it elsewhere. Ah. Yeah, I know. I'm sure that's like the one tank that everybody knew was going to be up there. Um, so that's there. So this one is probably, I mean, I have so many mixed feelings about this tank. We have the IS-1 next, the Russian heavy tank. This thing is like, dude. I don't garbage. even know. It's it's <laughs> it's garbage, but as long as it's stationary, <laughs> it's stationary and hold down. Like it's pretty good. It, you have a, a big gun. You have an high amount of ricochet potential, like yeah. you know, which helps protect you. Um, but it is clunky. It is slow. Dude. It is it is yeah. clippy. It, it is, is the viewport for a driver is terrible. Yeah. It is. Um, like the only redeeming qualities of it is that it's a heavy, that you have a big gun mm -hmm. that you can ricochet, uh, and that's about it. You're kind of forced yeah. into using it because it's hell it loose. Yeah. Right. I feel like it's another one of those things where it's not intentional because if I remember correctly, it's top speed's like 18 or 19 or something. Yeah, it's, stupid, it's the same as the 76. Else, yeah, it's just slow as shit. You can't see anything mm -hmm. when you're driving. And the turn, uh, you cannot turn on this thing. Like, I feel like it's no. it's like it's like choppy like it's not even smooth no. yeah, so it's like i'm busting yeah. keys off of my keyboard trying to turn it yeah, yeah. it's, oh, it's such so a i'm i'm saying this is gonna be a d i think this goes into the d i can't i mean yeah i want to give it a c because it's like a it's heavy. good <laughs> it's good in situations but I, I feel like we're forced into using it i don't want to use it <laughs> <laughs> it's a shame they didn't put in like the KV-1 or something really crazy. The KV-1 would have been really nice. Because right now it's like the IS-1 is only ever useful when it's like you're just going forward and backwards a few yeah. meters. You're not That's flanking it. shit. Yeah, you're not flanking like, shit. You're going forward and backwards in and out of cover a few meters. And that's the only yeah. time it's useful. Long bombs and just hope mm. for the best. And I, yeah, feel, I, um, I feel like it's a one-trick pony yeah. here. I can't, I can't give it <laughs> if you're, I realize yeah. we're putting the highest one lower than a Luke's by doing this, but I don't really give a fuck. What, what was <laughs> unfortunate is not to, like, I hate to bring in the realism, but the gun on the IS-1 was, was, I think it was bigger than the 88. Maybe it was less know. than the 88. Maybe it was you, can't go, you can't go down that path with, this, with the hell of But whatever. Like, yeah. it's it's a tank that should, I think, I wish it was more, but it, it really isn't. Yeah, the mobility is just so bad. It's yeah, so it's bad. It's so, it's so, uh, yeah, it's bad. Are you guys well, cool they with They had some weird mark. <laughs> yeah, I hate that thing. <laughs> throw it off of there. Like, I realize people like, this is going to, like, the fact that we're making this video is going to be hilarious. I realize what we're doing. We're putting, oh, like, a dude. heavy tank lower than, like, a Greyhound Puma Luke's and everything. If people are going to lose I can hear them, people screaming. The com I hear the keyboards typing in my head right now. I love it. I love it so much. Well, it's a piece of crap. Um, it's, 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 it's not fun. It's not, not a fun thing to use. It's not fun to use. Where, where you can be like, yes, this is, this is the shit. Right? It's just not, it's really fun. not fun. You're, you're forcing to use it, and it is what it is. The IS-1 is staying at D, and that's that's that. Get okay. out of here. That's when nobody even loves well, you. Well, you know, hey, hey, you know what? It might have some company soon, because next up is the Jumbo 75. Um, that's an useless. I know. It's completely <laughs> useless. So, I mean... It's we, like they haven't taken it out of the game yet. It's just kind of hanging it, out. It, I, so here's... Won't go home. <laughs> it's, it's, it's definitely down towards the bottom. Does it have anything to give it a D? Or is it going down to the, the very bottom so, of the basement? I think the mobility I mean, is pretty good. But yeah, I mean, it's got smoke rounds. So even though the, It can't go higher than the medium. The medium Sherman has to be above this tank. Yeah, yeah, i um, picked that over the... I'd pick the medium any day, Sherman over this. Any day of the week. Yeah. Uh, yeah oh for sure but i mean it's got heavy front armor right i can't even remember correct it's been so yeah it's a heavy tank with a medium gun oh. it's the 76 yeah. with the medium sherman gun that's all it is 
with smoke uh, with smoke grounds is too obviously like the yeah. medium sherman um so maybe it's a d i think we put it a d um just because of smoke rounds, I guess. I mean, I don't know. I don't. I can't put it on the same levels of clown car. It's been a while. Does it have the same? To. Is it a two two hit kill from a panther or a heavy? Yeah, German it's heavy tank, armor. Or? It's heavy armor. It's okay, yeah, yeah, yeah. So, yeah, it's been a while since I've been yeah. in one. So like, that's a redeeming <laughs> quality. <laughs> so like the know. gun. I'll put it the D. Yeah. I mean, I don't think it's an F. Um, it's so sad. Look at it. It's just. I don't yeah, seek it man. out. You should never ha ha spawn one of these in. There's not a reason. There's not a reason. Just wait. What is the fuel for one of those? 500. So Five. it's 100 less. Than so just wait. Wait 100. Yeah. It just is wait 100. It literally takes two minutes to wait usually. Um, yeah, and you'll get a 76. Wait. Just wait. Um, so I'm putting that in a D. I feel like we could have put it on an F. I, I would not be butthurt at all. D minus. F. Yeah, it's a D minus borderline F. Um, but you can still have some fun times. It? It's not It's not as frustrating as the BA-10. I, there's there's been people that have been like hey it's good for this or that or it's, not, not, good it's, for not, that. it's not it's not good, good for anything. It's, it's, there's it's nothing not that that has it's if a waste take away the smoke that i never use uh it's there's nothing that has yeah. that uh, 76 does it can't get shrek from the front that's about it uh, that's that's what's keeping in the decom it can't get shrek from the front <laughs> uh, that's true. okay so that's that staying in the d uh final tank on the list uh one of the most used tanks in the game because uh, you have to the 76 uh jumbo sherman so, this thing's an s tier for me I, what i can't put it at an s in my opinion because of the ap ammo count it drives me the ag mm, is great yeah. the AG, you get 60 something ag but you only get 20 something ap think about how yeah, much, how often you run out of this that said, I'm, I'm. I just love driving it. I yeah. love driving that. Like the from a driving perspective, the Panther and the 76 are so easy to drive. The the 76 has quick turning a little bit better. It doesn't clip on stuff. Yeah. That's like the um, only one. It's you can it's so easy. You can just zone out and drive this thing. Like you don't have to worry about your revs. You just go in the 76. It's so nice. Um, I, I agree yeah. with all that. I agree with all that. I just can't, I feel like it's got to be an A for the only reason because the Panther like a Panther needs you can to go speak. longer. It, it needs so yeah, the Panther can go longer. It's got the better mobility. Um, yeah. You know, all think about ones. how many times we've won fights against seventy sixes in a Panther that we shouldn't have won. Um, right. Because that reload. Yeah. Speed I mean, the really reload big. in itself, two seconds. I mean, that is it's, a it's that's big. Boys yeah. against that's, men. That's the only the, reason. The, why, <laughs> fight. That's the only reason why I can't put the 76 at an S in my opinion if you guys you guys outvote me if you guys want this and S, we can put it at an S if both of you think it should be but I think it should be an A it's cool equal it's probably yeah. yeah it's probably harsh to put it in line with a with a panther when that reload is like the only reason we've been alive some days exactly um but I think it's a solid A you know I think it's a great tank oh it's a great tank the, the HE counts insane obviously that makes up for the lack of AP but um we have to resupply all the time in that tank it feels like yeah and that's it that's the list anything you want to change any final notes so we got we'll go through it we got the panther s tier top um for obvious reasons needs to reload it, needs, it has the reload it needs to be nerfed is what it is in the eighth here we have a t34 a tiger and the jumbo 76 coming at the b tier we have a stewart and the panzer four and the C tier, we have the Puma, Greyhound, Luke's T70, and Medium Sherman. Down in the D tier, we have the IS-1, Jumbo 75. And down in the F category all alone, we have the BA-10. Um, I'm pretty happy with this. I'll, I'll be honest yeah. with you guys, unless you think there's anything like it. My, the only one is, is I know I was shitting on the IS-1, but um, I do love its ricochet. <laughs> uh, I'm pretty sure we... Uh, I did some wiggling in an IS-1. I did. Yeah, I think it's yeah. a C for me. I, you remember uh, we did uh, Kharkiv and yeah, I remember. I was you. I think I was driving that. Yeah, you were. I was Gandhi and Raz's command. Or no, right? And, and I or something. And a Panther shot us, and I wiggled. Mm -hmm. And because that thing ricochets so much, front plate shot at us. It hit the cheeks and ricocheted off, and we won that fight because you know the wiggle. But honestly, because of the fact that the IS-1 is a ricochet monster so i think it's harsh to put it at a d for me i think it's Jack, a c do you want this moved up to a c no i think it's junk a stain at a d marco jack's giving a thumbs down uh, you gave a thumbs down. i can't i can't move it up to a c i hate you yeah. d on the list but you know c, c in, in your heart. heart yeah um but yeah i'm happy with this list i can't wait to see what other people think about it 
<laughs> yeah. So what do you think? Uh... Yeah, no, never mind. <laughs> we're, we were going on for 40 minutes now about this, by the way, so I think that's good enough. Yeah. I, I don't know what else can be said. Dang, about that these time tanks. flies by when you're reviewing um, tanks, the hell this animated tanks. video game tanks. <laughs> All right, I'll call it there. Um, we're going to stop the video. So say bye to everyone that watches this for 40 minutes. Thanks for watching it. Yep. Uh, we appreciate all of the views. Yep. See you guys. Can't wait to read all your comments. Bye.